In this problem, we have a linear inequality, and we need to solve it. Uh, we need to solve this one for y. And we've got variables on both sides of the inequality. This is not really any harder than solving an algebraic equation uh, of this form. We just pretend, for the time being, that this inequality sign is an equal sign. And for the most part, we just go ahead and solve it like we would an algebraic equation. The only exception is if you try to multiply or divide by a negative number. If you do that, uh, you got to flip the inequality sign. So the best thing is to try to avoid doing that unless you have to. In this case, I don't think we have to. I've got 3y over here, and I've got negative 2y over here. So I think I'm just going to add 2y to both sides. When I do that, 3y plus 2y is 5y. And then I've got my plus 2. I've got my less than or equal to and 17. And of course, negative 2y plus 2y is 0, so that goes away. Now we've got our y term here and this number term. I need to subtract 2 to get rid of that number term from that side. So this is 5y now on this side, less than or equal to. And 17 minus 2 is 15. And our final step here is to divide y by 5. And we're going to get y is less than or equal to 5. Uh, sorry, 3. y is less than or equal to 3. Now, if you had gotten into a situation where you had negative 5y is less than or equal to 15, and you wanted to solve this, and you divided both sides by a negative 5, you'd have to flip the sign. So you'd write y, and then you'd flip this sign greater than or equal to negative 3. That's not the case for this problem. We didn't have to do that. But if that comes up, something to keep in mind. So that's some work with solving a linear inequality.